Today, family and friends of one of the victims of the Capitol Gazette massacre gathered in Annapolis to pay their respects. Wendy Winters was honored at a standing room only service. WJZ is live in Annapolis. George Solis has more from the touching tribute. George. Rick, more than 900 people coming together to honor and remember Wendy Winters. Among the speakers, Wendy's four children. We will laugh, we will sing, we will cry, we will mourn. As we remember her life and how it was taken away so suddenly. Reverend John Crespo delivering a powerful opening sermon for the hundreds that gathered in Annapolis Saturday to remember Wendy Winters. Winters was one of the five victims of the deadly shooting at the Capitol Gazette on June 28th. Friends and colleagues came to the podium to share their fondest memories of Wendy. My world, our world, will be infinitely smaller. Some of the most touching tributes came from Wendy's four children. My mother's life has been stolen from us. My mother's life has been stolen from all of us. Even though I'm sad and confused and angry and devastated, how can I keep from singing? All I ask is that you catch me when I fall. <laughs> Montana Geimer singing a hymn to honor her mother. Maryland First Lady Yumi Hogan also speaking. We are very proud of your mom. And she is going to be watching you and we will be with you. One of the final speakers was the subject of Winner's final interview, the Capitol's Teen of the Week. Wendy was killed shortly after the interview. I waited and waited for a response from Ms. Winters. Late at night, everyone's worst fear was true, that Ms. Winters was one of the victims of senseless gun violence. Now, Rick, there were also representatives from the Girl Scouts and the Red Cross further highlighting Wendy Winters' commitment to the community. Live in Annapolis, George Solis reporting for WJZ. George, a touching tribute to say the least. Thank you.